Hello everyone and welcome back to Craft with Katie. I'm Katie and I normally work at Bournemouth Library but at the moment I'm making you a craft video every Wednesday that you can follow along with and make some cool things while you are at home. And there are quite a few videos on the playlist, other videos from the library services too. So do go and have a look at the library playlist on the BCP YouTube channel because we are posting some regular content for you to enjoy at home while you can't get into the library. But for today's video, I am going to be showing you three ideas that you can do with some egg boxes like this. So let's just get on with the crafting. And like always, if you want to pause the video at any point so you can catch up or replay some of the instructions, you can do that at any point. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to turn an egg box into a piece of cheese with some little mice puppets. So first of all, you need to take your egg box and cut out the two middle parts here. And you might need to get a grown up to help you with this because it can be a little bit tricky. And then you need to draw some circles and punch some holes with a pencil like this. And again, you might need to get an adult to help you cut these out because it's a bit tricky. So you can cut as many holes as you like because these are gonna be the holes of your cheese. And once you are happy with the number of holes in your egg box, you then need to paint the whole thing yellow. And my top tip here is to mix a tiny little bit of white in with your yellow, because that will get a better coverage of paint. Because the box is a gray color, the yellow won't be as vibrant. So adding a little bit of white will really help. And then you need to paint the little bits from the inside that you cut out and I'm painting mine brown but you can paint them grey if you want some grey mice or you can paint whatever colour you want you can have some very colourful mice and I'm just painting a nose on at the end and if you don't have paint that doesn't matter you can colour it in with what you have if you have some felt tip pens or some crayons that's fine too so now I am making my mice some ears and I'm just drawing around a glue stick and I'm making four ears because I have two mice and they need two ears each and I'm adding a little tab on the end so I can glue them to the mouse later and I'm just colouring them in, I'm colouring in them in brown and then a little bit of pink for the inside of the ears and then just outlining it in black. And once I have all of my ears drawn, I am cutting them out very carefully like this and then folding the tab over and gluing it to the mouse like this one either side. So now I'm just adding some extra holes and colours to my cheese like this using some yellows and browns. You don't have to do this, it's completely up to you. And now we have our finished mice on my fingers like this and they are now able to eat the nice cheese and you can have fun making a little mouse puppet show. And now I'm going to show you how you can turn an egg box into your very own aquarium. So first of all, you need to paint the entire egg box blue and you can also add a little bit of white in again to give it a better coverage. And again, you don't have to use paint if you don't have any paint. You can use your crayons, your felt tip pens or pencils or even cover it in some paper. It's totally up to you. And once you have a blue egg box, you then need to draw your fish and seaweed and shells onto some card. If you don't have some card, you can draw it onto some paper and then stick it onto a cereal packet. So I have drawn a clownfish and I'm just doing another fish. It's a little bit like an angel fish. And I've also done some seaweed and I've done some shells as well. And I'm colouring them in with my felt tip pens, but you can colour it in however you want to. You can do whatever fish you want. You can draw your favourite fish. My favourite fish is a clownfish, so that is why I have done a clownfish. And I'm just colouring them in and I've also outlined them as well, just to make it a little bit easier for me to cut out. And now I'm cutting out all of my pieces very, very carefully. And as I cut out, I'm turning the piece of card rather than the scissors because that makes it a lot easier to cut out. And just be very careful when you're cutting out and make sure you get an adult to help you if you need. So once you have cut out all of your pieces, it's time to stick them into your aquarium. 
So I am sticking the seaweed bits onto the long egg box bits that we used for the mice earlier because they are nice and tall and sturdy. So I'm just using a glue stick for this because it's just paper so it will work fine. And I'm sticking some shells into the back like this. There we go. And for the fish, I found some clear thread, but you can use whatever string you have at home. And what I am doing is I folded it in half and then put it through the hole at the top and then thread it through the loop. And that's quite tricky. I'm going to show you again how to do this when I do the next one. So you just tie it to the hole of the egg box and then get a piece of sticky tape and stick the thread behind the fish and then it will hang down like so. So here I am again, I folded it in half and there's a little loop at the top and I'm placing the loop through the hole and then threading the rest of the string through the loop like this and then pulling it tight and that makes a nice knot. And now I'm sticking the other fish to the end of the string or wire or whatever you have at home. You can use some wool, you can use some string, you can use some sewing thread, whatever you have lying around. And to just finish this off at the bottom, I have got some little beads and I found some little beads that are fish shaped. So there's starfish, there's a seahorse, there's some fish and some little pearly beads just to make it look like gravel. And I've got some stickers that I'm decorating the top with and I'm writing the word fish with my stickers and I have some little gems that I'm sticking on to make some bubbles. And I'm also going to stick them on the inside behind the fish too. So it looks like the fish are blowing bubbles and it's a very, very sparkly ocean. But you can stick whatever stickers you have on or you can draw on. You can just be as creative as you like because this is your own little aquarium that you can put on your windowsill in your bedroom if you like. So for the last craft, I'm going to show you how you can turn your egg box into a little bug garden. So first of all, you need to detach the lid from your egg box and you just need to cut down the spine like this and then you will have the lid, which we're going to put to one side for later. And then you need to cut out all of the individual egg places and again, get an adult to help you because it can be quite tricky. So once you have all of your six egg container parts, we are going to turn them into bugs. So I am colouring the first one in red. I'm using my felt tip pens for this one. Just to show you what it looks like when you use your felt tip pens so i am making this one into a ladybird so we are coloring it all red making sure we get into all the nooks and crannies of the egg box and once i have colored it in red i'm going to add some black dots to make the ladybird spots like this and I'm also going to punch two holes in the top with a pencil. Again, make sure you've got an adult to help you. And then I'm getting a pipe cleaner, a black pipe cleaner that I've cut in half. And I am just threading it through the holes like this to give him some little antenna, like so. And just folding over the top of the pipe cleaner like this so we get rid of that sharp edge and make it look more like he's got some antenna. And I have some smiley face stickers that I want to use up. So I am using those for the faces of these bugs, but you can draw your face onto the bug or onto a piece of card and stick it on. It's totally up to you. You can be as creative as you like, or if you have some stickers, you can use those. So here is the little ladybird. He's all finished. So we're gonna move on to the next one now. And for the next one, I am doing a B. So I've colored it in yellow and I'm adding some black stripes to make him look like a bumblebee. So we're doing a few stripes along his back like this. And once we have his stripes done, I am drawing some wings on some card here with some blue. And then I'm going to cut them out and stick them to the top of the bee so he can fly. So here I am just sticking the wings onto the bee like this and I'm going to choose another smiley face from my sticker sheet to stick on like this. We have a nice yellow one to match and he has a cheeky little face like so. And now we can put him next to the ladybird. So for the next bug, I'm going to do a snail. So I'm using a nice dark pink for a nice pink snail shell, but you can do whatever you like. You can maybe make a rainbow shell. It's totally up to you. And I'm adding the swirl onto each side. 
and I'm also going to draw the snail's head on a separate piece of card and I'm going to cut that out. So here is the snail's head on the piece of card. I'm colouring it in yellow to make a nice contrast to the pink and I'm going to cut it out and stick it down with a glue stick to the top of the egg container. So just cutting it out nice and carefully and sticking it on like this. And I'm also going to add some yellow pipe cleaner with a bit of tape to the top of the snail's head so he can have some nice antenna so he can feel where he is going. So now I'm making a spider. So I colored this one in black and then I am adding some black pipe cleaners to the bottom underneath with some tape and then adding a sticker. If you don't have pipe cleaners, you can just use some strips of paper or some card but I have lots of pipe cleaners lying around and now for the last bug I'm using two of them two of the egg containers to make a caterpillar so I am coloring them both in green because caterpillars are green and then I'm attaching them together with some tape but I'm turning them upside down and sticking the tape on the inside because then it will look much neater. So I'm adding a piece of tape to one side and then a piece of tape to the other side, just like this. And I'm also adding one of my funky smiley faces and a nice green one because he's green. And again, I'm adding some antenna by punching holes into the top of the egg carton and threading it through. So here we have our nice friendly caterpillar and now we're going back to our lid and I'm just cutting some strips of green paper to make some grass but again you can use some white paper that you can colour green or brown to make it earth. You can be imaginative and put whatever you want in the bottom of your garden and I'm just adding the grass in bit by bit, scrunching it up and placing it in layers and I've also made some flowers by cutting out some petals from some paper and attaching it to a pipe cleaner like this. So I'm adding two flowers like this because the bee needs some flowers and the snail will like to eat the grass. I also added some brown pipe cleaners for sticks for the bugs to crawl on. So now I am just adding in my bugs to the garden, placing them halfway in and halfway out just to make it look fun. And you can play around with your bugs. You can maybe tell a story, you can do whatever you like you can do whatever bugs you like i'm just adding the spider here you can maybe sing incy wincy spider maybe put on a show for your family with your bugs so these are all the crafts we have the mice and cheese the aquarium and finally the bug garden so now it's your turn to see what you can do with your egg boxes at home